Hello everyone, welcome back to another very important lesson of affiliate marketing wherein I am going to show you how we need to set up Google Ads conversion tracking basically you can set it up for any platform where you are advertising but we will specifically do for Google here so we will not be using any other third party tool we will be integrating our Google uh, Ads account with our Clickbank account which would uh, directly link with or link your accounts together and you will be able to track your conversions in Google Ads it itself so let me log into my account ok it's logging in so as you can see I have logged into my account you can see my nickname this is my nickname and I am logged into my account and uh, what we need to do to set up conversions for Clickbank with Google Ads is you'll see a, you might be having a master account because your accounts must be new mine is a old account so it logs in directly on this page on the dashboard you need if you are into a master account you need to go to your dashboard page through accounts you'll find a tab at, or at the left side and you'll have to go to accounts from there you'll click your account and you'll reach this page this dashboard page okay and once you are here what you'll do is you'll go to vendor settings here okay then you'll go to my site okay and you'll scroll down under integrated sales reporting you'll uh, see my Google Ads uh, tracking code is already here for my main, main account so I'll just uh, make one more with another Google Ads account which I have just created I'll just show you okay so we'll come to the screen add tracking code we'll click on Google AdWords okay we'll click on add okay it will ask you for these three things Google AdWords ID page view label purchase label okay track as affiliate will mark and uh, where to fire confirmation page and order form both okay so what this is is Google Ads AdWords ID so Google will give you a pixel ID okay we'll add that pixel ID here page view labels will uh, will show you the the order form impressions basically will track your order form impressions and purchase label will track your conversions okay so like this is my new ads account this is not run for long uh, it's just a new account we'll go to tools in this uh, Google Ads account okay inside tools we'll click on conversions once you are here okay you'll click on the plus sign okay click on the website now in the category we'll create two conversion pixels now uh, two conversion labels okay one will be for the page view and the other will be for the conversions so first uh, conversions is important so let's go for conversions I'll choose purchase here okay so you can name it anything you just have to do it once okay for your whole account your all the products of your whole account will be tracked automatically okay so I'll click I'll put the name as Clickbank purchase you can put whatever you feel like measurement impact this from here you need to set the value of each conversions okay what I would recommend is uh, you don't need to set this value it's not important until unless you are making hundreds or thousands of sales every day okay so in this basically I'm uh, mentioning the conversion value for each conversion for example if I'm selling a product and I mentioned 50 here so it will track as 50 rupees per conversion okay so what I would recommend as a beginner click on don't use value for the conversion action because we can obviously calculate the value uh, manually also by looking at the Google Ads account and by looking at the Clickbank account so we can calculate our values from there okay and uh, after this you can see count so 
what this shows is if you keep it on every this means that if one person is purchasing multiple products like he's uh, paying for upsells okay or down sales or anything like that for the same product do you want to count that purchase as one or every so if you keep it on every what will happen is it will count every upsell also as a different conversion and if you keep it on one it will not count upsells it will count it as one sale only even though the user has bought uh, more upsells still it will say that it's one only one conversion so I would say you can keep it on every it's better if we track uh, our upsells also but it won't matter it's up to your uh, wish what you like to do if you want one you can keep it as one okay but I like to keep it on every so you can keep it on every also after this the click through conversion you leave it to 30 days okay until unless you are selling a or uh, you know real estate or uh, a cars or something like that okay which has a conversion uh, conversion window of more than 30 days you can set that otherwise you can also set it to 180 uh, I think 90 days okay custom we have we can set it to 180 because Clickbank has 180 days of conversion window however you can leave it to 30 don't hustle with this okay and you will keep this as one this is okay everything is okay here you will not change anything now okay click create and continue alright so once you are here I will show you the code first so this is our pixel id that I was talking about that we need to put here in google adwords id but it and the purchase id is this one here that we need to put but for your easier understanding you just click on use google tag manager here okay you will find all the details here so conversion id i'll copy this okay and i'll put this conversion id here okay page view labels i will not put i will put purchase label because i have created this as a purchase pixel so this is my conversion label which i'll put here okay and I am done with this for now so I click next and done okay now this is this will track our conversions we'll add one more for page views also now okay so I'll select as a begin checkout or you can also select page views if there is any option yeah there is an option for page view you can select that also or this also begin checkout okay Clickbank, I'll mention Clickbank, begin checkout. Okay, don't use any value because obviously uh, the people who are just beginning the checkout but not purchasing, they are of no value. So they have not uh, paid anything. Okay, so we'll obviously not add any value for them. Okay, and uh, this we will count as one. Okay, because we want if a person is going to the page, we want one person to be shown as one only and if one person is going multiple times we don't want to count it as multiple times okay we'll put this as one we'll go click create and next then we'll again click on use google tag manager now if you see the conversion id is the same that i mentioned it starts with three two nine five one seven nine seven five three two nine five one seven nine seven five exactly the same but the conversion label is different because this is the page view this is the checkout page view okay so I'll add this in the page view label okay I'll click affiliate here where to fire on both pages on confirmation page means the page that user sees after making the payment on the website so that's a confirmation page we want to track that also and order form is the order form where the user enters his billing details and continues with the purchase now we'll click on save okay once you have saved you see this is inactive currently we'll click on this play button to activate it now you see it's active okay it has it has detected our uh, field our uh, account also and everything and the purchase label and page view is also 
okay so this is fine now this is uh, done you will sometimes see uh, something written like pending uh, pending something will be written here so what you need to do in that scenario just keep it uh, keep pausing it and playing it for two three times and once and at the end you will see it being active like this okay so for now I'll uh, remove this one because I don't want to track this account with that Google AdWords so, okay so this is how we create the conversion pixel I hope uh, I was able to explain it to you guys and it would work fine okay once this is done in Google Ads also I'll show you what happens this shows unverified currently okay it will start working once we start getting traffic on our uh, landing on our uh, Clickbank account once we start getting some hops and some sales it will start working fine okay I hope uh, this video was helpful and you liked it huh? thank you for your time and I hope you are also working on this and making some money with this goodbye